Good day, my name is Turt Dald, and welcome to my very first Let's Play. Game of choice will be one of my favorite games, Fallout 3. I told my son and a friend of mine I was going to be playing Fallout 3, and they said I should do a Let's Play of it for YouTube. So here I am. Let's get started. A little bit about the Let's Play. Uh, I'm going to be playing live and unedited. Uh, it'll be a 100% Let's pl uh, Play through. Uh, gonna get all specials maxed, all skills maxed, do all DLCs, find all marked locations, majority of unmarked locations, all main story missions, majority of side missions and we'll also be collecting all bobbleheads okay I'm gonna uh, select settings and I will I thought about doing a very hard playthrough but since this is going to be a long playthrough as it is, I am going to go on hard for the beginning. Because on very hard, the enemies just become bullet sponges. The battles take way too long. I don't want to do normal. Normal is just too easy. So we'll start on hard. I'll probably switch to very hard around level 15 or so. game and let's go I am gonna skip the intro because I don't want a copyright strike on my very first video all you need to know is war war never changes mama Let's see, are you a boy or a girl? I will be a boy. It's a boy. A boy. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh James. We did it. A son. Our beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... I am just going to put in Turt Dald. That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. Okay, Caucasian. Now there's one here that kind of looks like me. Okay. Hairstyle. Pompadour. Hair color is gray or black. Gray looks good. And done. You're going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're just. James? Catherine? James. Catherine! She's Something's in cardiac a... arrest. Start compression. Things. Get the baby out of here. Move! Move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay. 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 Okay.
Fail to meet my expectations. No, don't look focus. straight into the light now. James and the Shiri Shadow decorations. They are too just something you could use to this place. Just like Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. There you go. My goodness. Just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo. I know you don't like it when Daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, we can pick up the ball. Toss it. Whoops. Oh, fail. Epic fail already. <clears throat> okay, special. Let's read our special book. And I'll just go to the end and kind of explain the specials. Put them all to one. Okay, strength. Strength basically is your melee and carry weight. For every point you have in strength, you get 10 pounds of carry weight and 0.5 melee damage. You start at a base of 160 pounds carry weight, and for every level of strength, you get plus 2 to your melee skill. I am going to start with a 6 in strength. Perception gives you the ability to spot enemies on your compass a little quicker for every point you have in perception. It also gives you two points each in each skill for energy weapons, explosives, and lock picks. It also has like a kind of an unwritten uh, ability that for every point you have in perception you can uh, disarm traps and mines a little further away. I've, I've tested this and it is a thing. Also there's a lot of good perks that come with perception like better criticals, lighter step, and each of those you need six perception. So I am gonna put five in that for now. Endurance. For every point of endurance you get two big uh, get two points into big guns unarmed per level. You start with a base of 120 to your hit points and for every level of endurance you get 20 hit points. You also get 5% rad resistance for every level of endurance and 2% uh, or 5% poison resistance for every level and 2% rad resistance per level. Also, as an added bonus, you, you're, uh, when you go underwater, your O2 uh, counter goes down slower for every point of endurance. I am going to put six points into endurance. Charisma gives you two two points into barter and speech skill per level of charisma. Also gives you a, a hidden bonus to affinity. I don't think charisma is that important. The perks for what else is out there just aren't really worth it. So I'm going to leave my charisma at one. And affinity, we're going to play a good character. We're going to have no problem raising our affinity. Intelligence. Basically gives you a starting your starting with your skills. Gives you a base of 11 for each of your skills. And every point you put in after that increases the skills by one. Also 
medicine repair and science adds two to those skills for every point you have in intelligence I am going to put my intelligence to eight agility increases action points in VATS plus two per level and you start at a base of 67 also adds two points per level of agility to small guns and sneak also an undocumented fact is it affects your movement speed a little bit for every point you have in agility I've tested this and it is a thing so I am going to put seven points in agility to start with luck for every point in luck it increases your crit hit rate per level of luck and adds plus one to all skills for every second level of luck so every two levels you get one to every skill and as an extra added bonus and I've tested this as well is your loot rates change a little bit like you'll you might get a little an extra couple extra bullets and or a couple of extra bullets in in a in a locker or a case gun case or on a on a corpse or a little couple extra items every so often it's just one of those things and it seems to affect the rarity of items like uh, uh, like ammo certain ammos are rare like 44 ammo you might get more of that too with luck it is a thing I've tested it it is a thing so I'm gonna put my luck to seven so that is our build uh, it's gonna end up being uh, a stealthy sniper unarmed melee explosion build by the time it's done and that is that now we just have to wait for Liam to come back Quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pen you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. These experiments Don't be a damn fool. We experiment to prepare. Prepare. Surprise! 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 Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only you Congratulations, mother. young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well... Are you all ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities? So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> I've always liked Enjoy that line. Party. Here's your Pip-Boy. Get used to it. <laughs> Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. 
Great party, Amada. Thanks for doing this for me. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just help with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess. I really have no idea. Ha! I knew I'd surprise you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Issue 14. And with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was ten once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Later. Happy birthday. Later, Amada. Oh man, you got a pit boy. I wish I Happy was. Happy birthday, there. Sonny. Are you having a nice I hope you appreciate the effort Amata put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Of course she likes me. I'm a really charming guy. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. Get used to it. Are you having a nice time? Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Please, please. Yes, ma'am. Such a nice, polite young man you are. Don't ever lose your gift to speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the birthday boy. No sharing required today. Time to cut the cake. Hey, 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 hey. Wait. Can I have the one with the candle on it? Oh, no. Hey, happy birthday, Allow Rosalie. Me to wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> this party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. What, are you two best friends now? Hey, whoa. How's it going? How do you like that pit boy son? It's really cool. Did you fix it up for me? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A-series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Thanks, Stanley. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday! Not much, but I hope you like it. I think Paul's gone soft on Daddy, I told you yeah. that. And he just gave us a present, and we can go in and take a look at it. He gave us a baseball cap. Might as well put it on. You introduce us to your new best friend. I'm not sure anyone... I'm hungry, and that stupid rope... Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Sure, Butch. Ugh, I don't want your nerd cooties. You're gonna be sorry you did that. We'll see how tough you are later when the grown-ups aren't around. What do you mean, dork face here? Nonsense. Happy birthday, dork face. <laughs> oh. Butch is such an idiot. Just ignore him. Don't worry about me. I'm not scared of him. I know. He thinks he's so tough. One of these days, we'll figure out a way to get him back, okay? Happy birthday. Thanks for coming, Sammy. I know you were busy with the water purifier. Enjoying yourself? Everything's fine, I hope. Jonas? So, what do you think sure we should call her about. Me and Andy Stop got her all fixed down here. last night. Good as new. Hey, how about Thanks. I I'll send him right down. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been... Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Anyway, I'm glad you're you nice think time. you really are as dumb as you look. Come on, Wally. How are you, you always have good ideas? Happy birthday, dearie. 
My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. Yeah, my dad and Nevada threw me a great party, didn't they? They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem, just for you. I hope you like it. Thank you. I will treasure it always. Is that all? Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. Palmer, I help you. Well, let's read this poem. A birthday poem. Gray walls, impenetrable steel, suffocation, condemnation, little hands groping in subterranean uncertainty. Mommy? Daddy? Am I dead? Nay, nay, reborn into purifying fluorescence. A face emerges, strong and male. Father to me? Father to all, overseeing our lives, our eternities. Harshness of discipline, harshness of love, obedience to my Savior. Larva to pupa, pupa to worker. Buzz, buzz, one with the steel honeycomb. Ten lies within the 101, significance at last till gray seeps from walls to hair to soul, then eternal slumber, the sweet sleep of incineration. Happy birthday to me. Uh, we're just gonna see what the overseer has to say here. Enjoy the party, sir? Bah! I only showed up because Amata's friends with the brat. Give them a few more minutes, and then I want that place cleaned up and everybody back to work. Sure thing, sir. Nice guy. Well, let's go see what Jonas wants. Jonas. What are you doing down here, young man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. I'm not a kid. I'm ten years old. <laughs> you sure are. Pip-boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Okay, hurry up, Liam. There he is. Are you ready for your surprise? What kind of surprise? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Here? We can shoot a gun here? We sure can't, unless we want the Overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot anytime you want. This is so great. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Okay, this is a good time to explain 
battle mechanics, particularly battle mechanics with ballistic weapons. Now you're going, oh, you just point and shoot? Well, technically, that's sort of correct, but that's like saying sword fighting is just stab them with the pointy end. There's a little bit more to it, and Follow 3 uses a, a mechanic called bullet spread. And what that means is basically, I'll just pull out my weapon here, think of a cone coming out of the end of your gun. And you're aimed at the target. And the scent, I got the gun pointed at the center of the target. Now, the cone could be that big around the target. And when you fire the gun, it randomly generates a number and it could hit anywhere in that area from when you shoot. So you might not hit the center of target, you might, but chances are you're going to hit somewhere else in that radius. Now there are ways to mitigate or lessen the radius of that cone. One of them is to aim down the sight and it slightly decreases it instead of from way out here it might decrease it to here. Another way is to crouch when you shoot which significantly reduces the size of the cone to about 50 percent and that might reduce it from way out here to way down here like that and you can reduce it even more by crouching and aiming which even reduces it even more so it might even cover the whole target and you could also stand and do vats which just assumes you've got your weapon out you're aiming down the sight or crouch and vats and putting points into your particular weapon type uh, big guns uh, laser weapons or small guns reduces that as well there are also a couple perks that reduce the bullet spread as well so i'm just going to shoot these targets careful it's a rad brooch think you can take care of that with your bb gun just aim and shoot yeah, I missed there. Even though I was right on it, missed again. Good work. That's one less round roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Captured the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game on it. Smile. Different parts. Revelation twenty one six. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. If you say so, Dad. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the GOAT. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Anything I need to know about the GOAT? The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the Overseer says? We are born in the vault, we die in the vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? 
Do we have to die in the vault? Can't we ever leave? That's not the way it works. And it won't do to go around asking questions like that. Especially not around the Overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know. But it is your hope. You're safe here. Stay on the Overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have. Because what's up there, on the outside, that's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. Is it true, Dad? Was everyone born in the vault? That's what the Overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe, and you're safe here. Can we talk about, you know, Mom? Your mother, she... She was beautiful. But beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate. About life. About love. But most of all... Most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. Bye, Dad. Take care, son. I got out of here, and good luck. Okay, a couple things in here. There's a safe here. We can't open that yet. And our first bobblehead. Medicine bobblehead increases our medicine skill by 10 points. Good morning. Stop. Hey, 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 sport. Okay, there's a always a stim pack here. here. It's the big goat day today, right? It is. I'm a little oh, worried. <laughs> I hope Jonas can take a look at Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes. What is it now, sir? I can show you a real tunnel snake. A the... real tunnel snake. God, Butch. Why don't you just leave me alone? You show it to do, her, Butch. Amada? Go she run thinks and tell she's your better. Daddy on us? What's the matter? Daddy's girl gonna cry? Stupid tunnel snakes! Immature assholes, if you ask me! Why won't they leave me alone? It's not my fault my father's the overseer. I don't care about their stupid gang. Can you talk to them? Maybe Butch will listen to you. Please? Butch and his friends bothering you, you again? Me. They think they're so tough with their gang. All they ever do is hang around and cause trouble. They've got it in for me because my father is the overseer. Like, that's my fault. I'll see if I can uh, talk some sense into them. Thanks. You've always been a good friend. Try talking to Butch. They'll all do whatever he says. Let's go into the storeroom, Amada. I'll show you. Okay, there's time. a couple ways we can deal with me. this. You think uh, I'm going good karma. Is the overseer? So. Show I'm gonna to talk butch. to Butch. Hey, look. There's it's smart mouth. There's a speech Afraid check. Got time for your fancy we might right pass, now. but so beat more it. than likely not. What's going on here? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? If you keep messing with her, the overseer is gonna come down on your gang. Maybe you're right. Wow. We can deal with her later. <laughs> I rarely Come pass on, that. This little bitch isn't okay, worth time. nice. Extra XP. Say, Butch. You're Some the karma. Tunnel snakes rule. I'm a happy Fine. guy. Let's go. Thanks for getting rid of them. <laughs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess? Idiots. And now we take the goat. Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Now you can skip the goat altogether. 
just by picking the last line here. But uh, I'm going to take the goat. Sure, I'm ready. I bet I'll ace it. I'm sure you will. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. Come on, people, find your seats. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? But doctor, wouldn't that cause a parabolic destabilization of the fission singularity? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Medicate the infected area to the best of your abilities. Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Lead the boy to safety and then turn him into the overseer. Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Designated hitter. Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Offer your most prized possession for the resident's life. Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Use a bobby pin to pick the lock on the door. Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Large doses of anti-mutagen agent. Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Trade the comic book for one of your own valuable possessions. Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Manipulate the power wattage on his razor so he'll get an electric shock the next time he shaves. Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Uh, the Overseer? Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the GOAT. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. All finished? They say the GOAT never lies. According to this, you're slated to be the next vault chaplain. There you go. God help us all. Yeah, God help you all. Wow, that's what I've always wanted to be. My dreams are finally coming true. Yes, um, it's refreshing to see such, uh, youthful enthusiasm. Good to know that the goat occasionally gets it right. You know what they say about monkeys and typewriters. Well, I'm glad things turned out so well for you. I hope your classmates find their results half as satisfying. Okay, what we can do now is tag three skills. And basically all a tag does is gives you 15 extra points in the skills you tag. 
So I'm going to tag repair, which is really important to get up early. Small guns, even though I'm not going to be a small guns kind of guy later on, it is important early on to have small guns. And since I'm going to go for a sneak build, I'm also going to tag sneak. wrong, Amada? You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone and my father's men are looking for you. What do you mean my dad is gone? He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone and my father, he's kind of gone crazy. I've never seen you so scared, Amada. What happened? It's Jonas! They killed him! My father's men. They took him and... Oh my god, you have to leave now! Oh my god, are you okay? Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just sorry you had to find out like this. I know Jonas was your friend. But we've got to go now. My father's men will be here any minute. My dad can't have left. The door is sealed shut. Not anymore, apparently. But are you honestly telling me you had no idea your dad was leaving? He really didn't tell you? No, I had no idea he was planning to leave. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Escape the vault? How? Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Sounds like a good plan. Let's get out of here. Oh. One more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Now, you can uh, let her keep the pistol and gain some karma. But, honestly, it it's not going to be very hard to get good karma. So I'm going to keep the pistol because I want the XP. She'll kill a guy. I want to kill the guy to get the XP. Thanks, Amada. I'll only use it as a last resort, I promise. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck! I'll Stimpak MedX, I'll let right. the looting begin. Baseball bat, I'll leave the ball and glove. They're just not worth anything. There's our first skill book. Basically, how skill books work, every skill in the game has a type of book. And the Grognak the Barbarian, if I remember correct, is Melee. And if I click on that, I'll gain one Melee point to the Melee skill. But I'm going to hang on to it because there is a perk, I think at level 4 or 5, I take called comprehension that'll give me an extra point for every skill book and so instead of one I'll get two so I'm just gonna save that till then <clears throat> oh I'm gonna set up my weapons so in number one I am gonna set up the baseball bat number two I'll set up the pistol now, I'm primarily going to be using the baseball bat. I probably won't use the gun at all. There he is. Hold it right there. I want to kill him before he kills the rad roaches because I want the XP. So. Get off me. Uh, looks like I didn't do a very good job. 
<laughs> now I could wear that heavy armor, but it's, it'll be harder for me to sneak. So I'm just gonna keep the armor on, uh, keep the jumpsuit on for now. My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches. Okay, there's a couple ways we could solve this. We could do nothing. Or we could get Butch to go in there and, and help his mother. And we lose XP, but we gain karma. Or we could go in there and help his mother and gain karma and gain XP. No, I can't go back in there. It's, it's dark and there's rat roaches. Don't worry, Butch. I'll get your mom out of there. Oh my god! Thank you! I didn't know what to do! You are the best! Make sure to pick up. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're the best friend I've ever had, man. Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my tunnel snake's jacket. Go ahead, take it. And Butch just gave us his jacket. And if we take a look at it, it gives us plus five to melee. But I'm just going to keep the jumpsuit on. It's lighter weight. And it's, for what I need, good enough. Make sure to grab the vodka. Great weight to value. Weighs one, it's worth 20. Nothing down there. Let's see if I can get a couple of these before they go. No. You gotta be careful when you attack in here, because if you if you hit this robot, Andy, he'll turn hostile and he's almost impossible to kill. <laughs> okay, where did Officer Gomez go? There he is. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Thanks, Officer Gomez. I always liked you. It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. Gonna have a sip of water. Took a little bit of damage there. And we're off. Oh, I think there's some stuff in here. If you keep turning like that, I'm gonna crack your casing. Okay, this is my dad's office again. Our dad's office. There's that safe. We can't get in there, but we will be back one day. There is a uh, 
schematic to build a railway rifle in there. Let's try it now. I think I've got it this time. That is not the Stim pack. switch. To the left. Left, I said. Don't be such an Stim old woman. Pack. Just a few more adjustments and you'll be as good as new. Well, I think I'd rather just stay broken than submit to any further indignity. Almost got it. It's our only chance. Okay, I'm gonna run in here real quick and take these guys on so those two don't get killed. It is a good idea to go after these guys. I didn't think I'd get out of that alive. I took my pistol. I'm gonna go after this guy who took my pistol. Whoa! He'll kill us all! Run! This is the overseer. Damn. Lost a bit of karma, but what the heck. Let's go get a drink of water. Paint gun, good. Turpentine, all good crafting materials. Oh, some scrap metal, that's XP and money. Okay, full health, carry on. Sneak attack. Nice. If you kill the overseer, this guy becomes the new overseer. Okay, there should be a few rad roaches in here. Glasses, wonder glue, good for crafting wonder glue. Officer Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. 
just tell us where to find your friends so we can talk to them. Stop! In the name of the Overseer. The Overseer's gonna hear about this. Didn't even get a hit on me. Guards, help! Nuka Cola, nice. Ten mil rounds. I'm getting heavy, so I'm going to probably combine some things by uh, repairing them. Grab a sip of water. Uh, we'll do the police batons first. Jumpsuits. Okay, the utility jumpsuits, I don't want to repair with that. I want to have a one utility jumpsuit. So I'll repair those together so I don't accidentally get rid of them. Okay, perfect. Oh no, Jonas. Eyeglasses, stim pack, vault lab uniform. Note from Dad. Let's listen to the note from Dad. Hold on, Jonas. I need to record this first. I... I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. I love you too, Dad. Okay, we're going to lockpick this door. There is a key in the room that I didn't go into, but I want the XP for uh, lockpicking.
And if you go in here... Key is right in there. Along with some rounds. Some more jumpsuits. Okay, there is a, a locked computer. And in that locker is the password. But we're going to hack the computer to get some XP. Lockpicking can be a pain until you get your lockpick skill up. So I'm going to start with the first word. I always start with the first word on the list. Clause. Two out of five are correct. That means the C could be correct, the L, the A, the W, the S. So you got to go through each word. So clause chose only has one correct. Crass has three correct, so it can't be the right answer. Snare has one, so it can't be it. Close could be it. There's two correct. Same as the in cloths, so. And it's clothes. <clears throat> View security dossiers. Tunnel snakes. If Butch and his leather clad delinquents accost Amata one more time, they'll have more to deal with than their acerbic teacher. Their services have come in handy upon occasion, I must admit, but they're starting to become unruly. If dogs become feral, they must be put down. I'll have to remind Butch of that upon our next meeting. Oh, so he was using them as kind of... Okay. Beatrice. Just what Fault 101 needs, an absent-minded, sexually repressed sycophant. She's the one that gave us that poem for our birthday. Beatrice has served Vault 101 ad admirably for years, but her mind is growing feeble. I'll have to speak with our good doctor about some kind of long-term pharmaceutical solution. We may at least be able to keep her comfortable and quiet until she passes on. Jonas. I never should have assigned Jonas as James' assistant. He was always too idealistic for his own good. Now he spends every waking minute with the good doctor who gleefully fills his ears with even more idealistic nonsense. I've considered reassigning him, but the truth is Jonas is, f is a fine medic in his own right, and hiding him down in maintenance would be a terrible waste of resources. Amada. Every time I try to get Amana to open up, she just pushes me further and further away. Since she was a child, I've tried to instill in her those virtues that have made this vault what it is today. Loyalty, honesty, commitment, and hard work. She does try, and with a lot of guidance, has grown into a fine young woman. That makes it all the sadder that she continues to alienate me. She looks at me and sees the overseer not the father that has cared for her alone. Alone! Since she was an infant. <clears throat> Scouting reports. Oh, what's going on outside? Report 22410210. As our tests suggested, the immediate vicinity of vault is no longer dangerously irradiated, although the background radiation is still a well above safe levels. Pockets of more intense radiation appear to still be common, and all surface water seems to be undrinkable. We will need to carry out ample supplies of radex with us on all future surveys, but hazard suits do not seem to be necessary for general exploration. Our old maps are largely useless. The town of Springvale is an abandoned ruin, and all pre-war roads have disappeared or are no longer passable. We encountered a group of monstrous ants, which appear to confirm McKay's theories of mutation due to extended exposure to radiation. 
We drove off the ants with gunfire and collected several specimens for a study upon return to the vault. See Exhibit A. The good news is that human civilization still survives, despite everything. We discovered a settlement known as Megaton, see Exhibit B, whose inhabitants, although somewhat wary at first, soon welcome us into their town. We spent a good deal of time in Megaton and learned a great deal about the Capital Wasteland, as the area around Washington, D.C. is now called, from them. Megaton is a fortified outpost of civilization, of sorts, but it seems that the giant ants are the least of the dangers of this new world. We agreed that it was prudent to return to the vault immediately to revise our survey plans in light of what we have learned. Lewis and Agnes remain in Megaton to serve as the ambassadors and continue to collect information until we return. Anne Palmer, survey team leader, February 10th, 2241. So they have sent people outside the vault before. Exhibit A, ooh, giant ants. Megaton. Vault Tech Instructions. Letter from Dr. Stanislav Brom. We'll meet him sort of later on. A letter to the overseer from Dr. Stanislav Braun. If you are reading this, emergency vault internment procedures have been initiated and you are your you and your control group have been sealed in, into your vault. Congratulations! You are now a vital part of the most ambitious program ever undertaken by vault If you have not yet read your sealed orders, do so now. They will outline the experimental protocols assigned to your control group. Please remember that deviation from these protocols in any way will jeopardize the success of the program and may be considered grounds for your termination by vault Corporation as outlined in your employment agreement. Your vault may or may not have been selected to receive a GEC module. Please see attachment A for details. Dr. Stanislav Brom, Director, Social Preservation Program, vault Tech Corporation. Attachment A. Vault 101 will not receive a GEC. You should operate under the guidelines laid forth in the overseal sealed orders. vault Tech Scientific Entry, the GEC. The GEC is quite simply the most advanced piece of technology ever developed by vault -Tec, a terraforming module capable of creating life from the complete lifelessness. After riding out the storm of nuclear Armageddon in a vault -Tec patented vault, residents can then activate the GEC and create a new earthen paradise. Craters and dust will give way to rolling grasslands and sparkling clear water. Of course, Due to time and monetary constraints, not every vault will be equipped with a GEC module. Okay. Vault Tech Instructions. Letter from the Vault Tech Scientific Entry. Okay, I think we got it all. Open Overseer's Tunnel. Always one rad roach in here. And there he is. Once you talk to Amada, two guards will come out that door. If you didn't kill those two guys, where the guy stole the gun, four guards will come out of that door. 
You did it! You I couldn't have done it without your help. No, you didn't need me. If anyone can survive out there, it's you. Why don't you come with me? It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more than you do. I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for... for, you know, Jonas and, and my father and everything. Goodbye. Gotcha Stop, now. The name of the over... The overseer There's more will tolerate this problem. kind of behavior. Blood! Coulda, as soon as they came in, just ran for the door, but I want the XP, the loots, because a, a new area opens up with a little bit of loot in it. And we are desperate. Bobby pin, scrap metal is worth money and XP. Toolbox was empty this time. Wow, that's rare. Water's worth charisma. Affinity. I'll show you that. Conductor, I normally wouldn't pick these up because the weight to value isn't that good, but it's early. <laughs> we need everything we can get. Uh, looks like everything. I can't believe this toolbox was empty. That's never empty. Okay, there should be a... Uh, medicine chest in here to unlock if I can remember where it is I think it's down here yep right here boom a little more XP and there should be a few more rad roaches to kill and I'm gonna run and get a drink of water before we leave He's here. Don't let him get away. There's usually three or four rad roaches left. There's one. Two. Five, wow. Nice. Okay, we're out of here.
it's always a good idea to save here. Because as soon as you go into that door, you're going to be given a chance to change out your specials, your tags, your whole build. And that way, if you want to play again, you don't have to go through all this uh, part, uh, beginning part again. You can just start from here. Anyway, I am going to end the episode here. As our first episode, uh, episode one, From Birth to the Wasteland. I hope you enjoyed it. And join me for episode two as we step out into the wasteland. Turtled out.